Sagittarius, welcome back to Emperor of Light Tarot. We're going to be channeling specific intentions today. We're going to be taking a look into the cardomancy to see what you're currently manifesting consciously and unconsciously, right? Like the video and subscribe to the channel so that we continue to grow. We're going to jump right into your reading. What has Sagittarius been manifesting lately consciously or unconsciously right the universe is all about the law of attraction so everything you do you know it exhibits an equal or opposite reaction right? cause and effect duality Check out your moon, rising, Venus, and north node placements. I'm not going to take those. Yeah, if you got waiting and sunlight. <laughs> uh, Pisces, the hangman, and the sun card. Let's get a couple. Any more jumpers here for Sagittarius? Is the Sagittarius manifesting consciously or unconsciously? Grounding your message here today, Sagittarius. Damn, everyone's giving the Divine Feminine. This is a creative space opening up for you guys. The Empress, right? very fertile, very creative, very supported, very nurturing, right? It's the Mother, the Divine Mother. This could be you calling in your person that you're manifesting here, consciously or unconsciously. Three of Gems, yeah, collaboration. Now, typically, the three of gems is a prodigy, right? It is the ability to work well with others, right? Start some sort of a project. This could even be uh, with coworkers or someone in the same industry as you. Sounds like your person. Could be entrepreneurship, though. The eight of bubbles. Ooh, walking away from something? What could you be walking away from? This could be detoxing. Maybe you are walking away from some sort of a collaboration here. This could be a work. Um, maybe some sort of a job that you had, possibly. Are you doing this consciously or unconsciously? Let's get more of the seven of bubbles. Intuition. You found new options here. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say better. I'm not going to say worse. I'm just going to say new options. Or you're being presented with them. Maybe unbeknownst to you, unconsciously. The two of gems, stability here. Yeah, it has something to do with your, your home life or your work. You're either consciously or unconsciously manifesting some, some sort of a potential here. The celebrity, the devil. Mm. Now, a, this is a hard worker, right? It's a, it's a boss, right? The Alpha and the Omega. It can definitely be entrepreneurship if you're willing to work hard and put in the effort. Starting here at Three of Gems, that's a prodigy. That's having the skill and the potential to do it, maybe even work well with others. The problem is you want to avoid toxicity here. Eight of Bubbles is walking away from something. I usually see it as, de as detoxing. And what does the celebrity or the devil come with? All types of triggers and karmics and, oh, God seven deadly sins so it's almost like just because you think you you know you want to quit your job don't think that it's going to be easy because entrepreneurship is even more harder right it's just a bigger reward people think just because they work for themselves that oh no i can take more breaks now or i can do work whenever i want no you think jeff bezos takes a day off you think what's that other guy not mark zuckerberg but the other one elon Musk takes days off these guys don't take days off, right? Mm, this may be an ongoing pursuit in regards to your health as well. Mm -hmm. Who is this? Sagittarius? The Empress on the bottom of the deck. And then the last card to come out is the Devil. a lot of creativity here mm. just make sure you're manifesting from a grounded place i failed to call out the 444 because i'm like it's 445 so why say anything <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
yeah, that could be you BSing or slacking off. Oh, I'm an entrepreneur now, so I don't have to work as hard, or I can do that whenever. Why do some? Why put off something till later when you can do it now, right? So, yeah, like when it comes to childbirth, I tell women like, get yourself healthy before you decide to have children. Don't just up out of nowhere. You've never been a healthy person, but you want to have children. You know what type of child you're going to produce? A karmic child. So that's even for men. You want to travel? Get yourself in shape before you go travel in the world because you think you're going to go climb a mountain at those types of altitudes and you think you're going to be able to smoke cigarettes? Like, you're going to kill yourself, bro. <laughs> like, if we throw half of you gangsters into the jungle, you wouldn't come out of the jungle. <laughs> Put your pants sagging. <laughs> Anyways, uh, there's definitely an opportunity uh, for growth and success, but you're going to have to avoid the pitfalls, maybe even inward toxic uh, cycles, thought patterns, uh, maybe just emotional triggers and things like that. But, you know, uh, what is it? With, with great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> yeah, being a celebrity is hard work, right? If no one told you. No one told you that? That's why I'm not a celebrity. Right? Catch you guys on the next one, Sagittarius. Peace.